your setup. Oh. 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 Put yours in, hold his. I don't know what I did there. You got a picture of me. I could go get the thing. All right, you're good, buddy. these older saws if they can hang with those newer ones because those newer ones man I, I, I'm just impressed like crazy I'm like what is that a 16 inch chain yeah 60 deal we'll put it on the 550 when they run the 550 as long as you don't blow it up <laughs> what 550 my 550 mark one yeah. talking about the red Oh, okay. Yeah, the red one. Yeah. I said 550. I had you confused. Yeah, you did. Have you, have you got it pretty well dialed now? I don't know. I've played with it so much now, I'm... <laughs> you need to take a break on it. I'm to the point that... It's been on nitro, it's been on gas, it's been on... But the problem is now it's to the point that I can't run it at Solfest, so... Oh, that sucks. I'd, I'd let it warm up a fair bit. Welcome back to the Novice Lumberjack, <laughs> where I just made it back home from Kentucky yet again, going back and forth up there to take care of my mama. She's got a real nice little apartment and everything, and I'm very happy about that. Super happy across the board, right? Uh, this time I did not get a gun pulled on me. <laughs> uh, I did go to court over that. That's uh, part of the timing of this trip. Uh, I don't know exactly what they're called and stuff, but this was the like preliminary hearing, I guess you could say, uh, to decide if it's going to go to the grand jury. So I, I had a gun pulled on me on the interstate, and I testified against that guy. And I'm very happy with justice seeming to be served. Uh, the 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 judge, his bond was set at thirty thousand dollars, and. Um, after my testimony, the, the judge was like, I ain't never done this before in my life, but uh, after hearing that testimony, this man is a danger to the public, and so we're changing that bond from 30000 to 75000 and this is getting sent to um, the grand jury. And uh, so, anyways, he'll probably cop a plea and plead guilty and stuff like that after after 
my testimony and everything and how well that went. And the damn guy was trying to kill me. So, but anyways, very excited. He's going to be in prison for a long time. And if I have to go back and testify before the grand jury, it will be because he's still claiming to be innocent. <laughs> yeah. mm. He actually shot the gun, by the way. He admitted to it. So he fired at me, or at least up into the air, at least. Uh, so, yeah. But anyways, uh, I timed it. You know, I had to go up and help my mom some more. And that court date was on Thursday of last week. And uh, what was that? Like the 14th or something like that? I, I don't know. I don't care. Anyways, uh, today I'm finally back. And what you just saw there was some footage of uh, Garrett Barker's place. Um, Garrett was there. His dad, Gary Barker as well as uh, Morgan McKinnis. And um, uh, Morgan was bringing this back to me. This is my steel MS-360. Uh, also, I mean, you, it's almost identical to a 036. Uh, it was in pretty darn rough shape, um, but I did a little trade to Morgan, uh, gave him a different saw that he can use for a project saw, and uh, he built this. If you want to check out Morgan's channel, I'll put it in there, but I believe it's Appalachian Chainsaws or Apps, Appalachian Work Saws or something like that, but it's going to be on the screen. I really like his videos. He doesn't make a lot because he's busy. Uh, he doesn't see YouTube the way that I, he doesn't use it the way that I use it, and, um, but he uh, can build a pretty good saw. He can build a good saw, and he, uh, is really affordable too. So if you want to check him out, please do. This right here runs pretty darn great. Uh, I'm very happy with it. And uh, as you see there, it was going up against the saws that were in the mix was a, uh, the first saw was built by Morgan and he's in the beta phase, you know, just testing back and forth with it and stuff. But I believe he was on nitro there. Um, and like I said, he's just learning it, figuring it out and everything. It's definitely not running at peak. But um, that was the 361 or the G366 Holtzforma with the red covers on it and stuff. That uh, was his and he's planning on racing that at Sawfest. Um, but he's got a lot more work to do on it. Um, uh, then the next saw, I believe, was Garrett Barker's G366. I am not sure if he was running on nitro or not. I don't think he was. Uh, I don't know. I don't think either one of those saws were. Doesn't matter. Point is, is those are two saws to the, uh, the 361, steel 361. And then the third saw was this one right here. And that is the uh, 360 that... Morgan at Appalachian Chainsaws built for my 60cc challenge that I have coming up, okay? So now, um, I can't tell you a whole lot about these saws other than I, I really like them. I think that uh, they, they're really compact and small and lightweight, and they run really well when ported up. Uh, but I can tell you that some of the differences... Whenever you go from 036 to 360, uh, the biggest change are these flippy caps. Yeah, this has the flippy caps. The 036 does not have the flippy caps. So that's the big difference. And obviously I'm looking here in this top cover, there's a hole there for a decomp, all right? but there's no decomp and there's no place for a decomp on the cylinder. So my guess is whenever I bought an OEM cylinder, um, I can't rem remember who I bought it off of. Um, ah. But uh, the gentleman was quick to ship it and everything and it was reasonably priced. I was asking for a 036 or 360 cylinder and this needed a crank as well. And um, Morgan did all the work, everything 
the parts just got shipped to him. But uh, clearly this, in my mind, this is a 036 cylinder because the 360 plastic has a place for a decomp and that cylinder did not have a decomp on it. So it's probably a 360 with an 036 cylinder set up. New piston and rings and stuff, so it's not broken in at all, but it ran really good, uh, really nice, and that's just completely gasoline. This is just a firewood build, nothing special, and as you see there, it performed admirably against all those other saws. Um, so very good work, Morgan. Uh, seriously, it's running great. Uh, I will go ahead and later on today get some footage of it in some of, I mean, not big, but, you know, bigger than that little tiny block. Um, some pine and see how it, how it pulls. I'm sure it'll do very well. Uh, he builds a good saw. So, again, if you want to, you should check him out. I like his channel a lot. Uh, he's got a really nice looking shop and uh, he's good at doing the videos. Uh, so anyways, but I had fun about, about that little get together with those guys. So I had had thoughts uh, that maybe I would pull out the channel or pull out the, out the camera and get some footage of us just sitting around BSing and stuff, but it just didn't, it just didn't unfold that way. It's always kind of awkward to break out the camera and go, hold on guys, wait a minute, you know? Especially whenever there's three other people and I've only got microphones for two. So four people total, two microphones. Eh. So I just didn't even do it. But it was awesome. At one point, Garrett was like, is there any other saws that you want to run? And I was like, eh, not really. I just want to bullshit with you guys about it. <laughs> and so we had a great... BS session between the four of us and we talked about all sorts of different stuff Cummins 12 valves Cummins 24 valves uh, Just life in general All kinds of stuff uh, So I really dig on that, you know, and he's only about uh, So he's in Waverly He kept telling me Chillicothe because that's the big city that's close by but Waverly, shoot, I used to go back and forth to Waverly, eh, not all the time, but it was familiar to me. And, uh, and so it was only about 45 minutes from my mom. And I, it, it was so cool to be able to just shoot up there and hang out for a moment, you know. Uh, so I had a good time. Thank you, Garrett, for your hospitality and opening up your house and everything. Another thing that happened, another thing that happened uh, on this same little trip while I was in Tennessee, um, you know, if, if you follow the channel, I've been kind of looking for somebody to take all of my Poland high top parts. I've got a bunch of them to make a bunch of different saws, specifically the 60cc versions of those saws. And they've been sitting on, you know, in a, in a crate basically or boxes and stuff on my floor taking up space for like four years and I haven't done anything with them. And because, I mean, I just, it just, other things, other saws, you know, I've got plenty of saws to mess with. And uh, so I wanted to give all of that stuff to someone that I could trust that would put me together two saws from that lot, a Super 3, 380 Poland Pro. Uh, hey, I just learned this. <laughs> So, yeah, there. anyways, um, he's going to build me a Super 380 from the parts and a Poland Bad Boy from the parts, a 3750 Bad Boy. And uh, yeah, that went to Tony Stankert. And uh, I have, he's been with me since the beginning because I kind of started with Poland and that, that seems to be his fav favorite brand. And um, he was a, fun guy to hang out with. Uh, we, we, we just bullshitted about all kinds of stuff there for a couple hours. Had dinner and everything, you know, and uh, um, he was really cool to hang out with. So thank you, Tony, for taking those off of my hands. And uh, I look forward to sometime in the future getting those two saws back together and on my shelves.
<laughs> but anyways, that's enough for this video. Uh, just a little bit of cutting action and uh, telling you where I've been because I don't think that you guys have gotten a video since Saturday. I'm still around. Everything's fine. Take it easy.